what in the world is going on with Antonio Brown, man? Like, have you seen all the stuff I mean, that's come out to, like on on Thursday? I'm, no, I've seen nothing on Thursday. We record this on Thursday. I have, I've worked all day. I have no idea. So yesterday he released uh, something. Um, something. He said his side of it. Yeah, yeah, his side of, I was injured, they knew I was injured, they wanted me to play anyway, da 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 And then Bruce Arians came back and said he was cleared, he said he was good to go, this was just because he didn't get uh, enough touches in the game. And then he starts coming back and forth with, uh, what? what's the guy that works with Alex Guerrero, right? That's, uh, that's Tom Brady's guy for the TB12 stuff. Like, apparently yep. he paid $100,000 to Alex and only got like half of the the workouts he was guaranteed or something. I don't know what the exact deal was, but it, it basically he's airing all of his dirty laundry now and I have to think this was just in an effort for him to be released from the Bucks, which he now has been. So how how did things get so twisted? In this instance, is it just an Antonio Brown thing, or is do you think there's maybe more going on with the Bucks? No, it's a hundred percent just an Antonio Brown thing. It's nobody else. It's nothing else. It's just this guy's crazy. This guy's insane. He really okay? is. And and when he's and when he's playing at the elite level, you deal with insanity. The Steelers dealt with it for what eight nine years. Yeah, it was almost a decade. It was the the juice was worth the squeeze, and. You know, Tom Brady wanted him because his supporting cast when he was in New England was just hot garbage other than Gronk, and Gronk couldn't stay healthy. And so, and, and Julian obviously couldn't stay healthy, which, which is why they were garbage. Um, and, and so he wanted AB. And as soon as he went to Tampa, he wanted AB because he could produce. But, but once he stopped being able to produce, his crazy doesn't change. You just deal with it, and then now you can't deal with it anymore. Yeah. And it seems to be a lot of money stuff with him, which is weird. The guy should have made a ton of money. Now, he's pissed away a lot of money. He had like $39, $29 million from the Raiders. But if he just showed up to practice and shut his mouth, he'd have gotten all of that money. But So he pissed that away. Now he's getting caught with this fake vaccine card because he won't pay his, uh, his, his chef. And now he's bitching about a hundred thousand dollars for Alex Guerrero. Like, if you're paying a hundred grand for workouts, bro, like you can't nickel and dime this stuff, man. Like nobody in the world outside of extreme professional athletes pays hundreds of grand for for a workout. Yeah. But no, it's all things you're to be around right. money. Yes. He had a million dollars worth of incentives that were right in front of his face. And to say he wasn't getting touches. When did he storm out? It was after halftime, right? Yeah, it was after halftime. So the first half of the game, he got five targets. He just dropped all of them. Like, at some point in time, you can't go 0 for 5 and then get pissed off that you're not getting any more touches. Like, that ain't how it's going to work. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. I mean, you get the opportunities. You got to make the plays. And then they were trying to put him in the game. You know, like, (laughs) you're mad because they're not getting enough touches. Well, how do you get touches if your ass don't get in the game? Uh, it's just nuts. The whole thing is crazy. Like, none of this math makes sense, but that's because you're trying to make sense of something from a moron, from an insane person. Yeah, we've talked about him a lot, on, it really in the past, like, two years, and it's just one thing after another. Like, how how ridiculous was it that he he left, and everybody was talking about, oh, he left and immediately hopped a plane, and da 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 uh, On Monday night, like he was back in an NBA arena uh, with his mask on, sitting courtside. I mean, <laughs> like, what are we talking well, about? Well, he still he was still in New York. He wasn't just in an NBA arena. He was in Brooklyn. Yeah, he, no, he was leave. in Brooklyn. Yeah, I mean, just insane. Uh, so I don't know what to make of it. I, I would actually imagine that the Bucks will probably be better off uh, without him. You know, they are missing a lot of their wide receiving core right now. But uh, even still. Look, I don't, I don't know that they're better without him because he was still a talent, and there were times where he was still an asset. And you know, you know, at the end of the day, he was never a distraction to anybody else. It seemed like Tom has just become oblivious to all distractions, and you know, Evans and all the other guys on offense just seem to do what they got to do, and 
if he's there, great. And if he's not, great. And if he's freaking out, great. Like they just seem to keep rolling no matter if he's there or not. So I don't, I don't know that like if they go on a run, like, oh, look how much better they are without AB. Well, yeah, but we kind of expect them at the end of the year to go on a run anyway, right? Yeah, no, that's true. That is true. So I don't know that he has any effect, positive or negative. Yeah, I mean, you might be right. You might be right. I, I tend, I was looking at it from a uh, addition by subtraction kind of thing, but uh, with the way that that locker room is constituted and who the coaches are, yeah, I mean, it, what you're saying yeah, I don't makes think absolute any of that sense. Shit matters. I, I think they're fine. And, and here's the deal, though: the the problem is that they start falling off. It, it, it won't. It will be a negative in the sense of outside of Evans, man. They don't have a lot of options, okay? Fournette's yeah. hurt again. I don't know if he's going to be back this week or not. Um, like, they they don't have a whole lot of options. Tommy's, Tommy doesn't have the toys he's used to playing with. Hopefully he, he can keep Evans healthy and, uh, and Fournette can get back because that's what they're going to need to go on a run. Now you have certainly got that right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.